So my Coast Guard leadership has been influenced by many factors, but predominant what sticks in my mind is the, the chief's mess and the enlisted workforce. Um, I came into the Coast Guard uh, with no prior military service as a reserve officer and an ensign. And so, truthfully, it was a lot to learn for me on, on every aspect there is. However, I remember my first unit there at Group Key West many years ago, that it was the RDs, the TCs, the QMs, the enlisted force that really taught me accountability and helped help me move and grow as a person and also as a leader. Um, you know, those, those times were difficult because I was only working a couple of uh, days a, a month at the time as a drilling reservist. Uh, and it was difficult in the sense that I had a lot to acclimate myself to. And knowing that I would go to work once a month for two days and see these p faces that cared about the mission that we were doing in, in Key West, particularly in the operations center, high op tempo, a lot of detail oriented. It was all of these enlisted members that, that treated me uh, with not only with respect, but they, they guided me um, from beginning to end. Uh, one of the, the, the story that comes to mind most though of all my career is how I leaned on the chief's mess is with Senior Chief John uh, Royal. He is and will always remain as a, one of the saltiest people I've ever met, a boatswain mate, of course. And I met him when I went to group uh, Miami, and we were in the process of standing up the sector at that time. And he basically brought me on for a couple of years of active duty to help stand up the sector command center. Again, a really uh, transformational uh, time for the Coast Guard. So a lot of moving parts, a lot of things to do, um, expertise needed and so he was able to harness what I had done in Key West and bring it to Miami. Most importantly what he taught me was tenacity um, and he taught me how important it is to make decisions. It's okay to make a decision if you don't have all the information but it is not okay to be indecisive and uh, he, he, he literally would um, correct me in a nice, respectful way in private uh, and say, hey, the road you're going down is, is I don't know, not, not the right road. But in, in essence, Senior Chief Royal, what he did for me was, was teach me the, the, the power of humility, the power of making a decision and standing by your deci decision if it's the wrong decision and to be willing to learn and move in another direction. So I, I, I credit that to him in particular. And faith, what I've learned with um, the Chief's Mess overall is to have faith in them. They um, have a perspective that is different than mine, and I would argue than different than almost all officers and to make a partnership, a leadership partnership to move the Coast Guard forward in a tactical way or a strategic way, you've gotta be aligned with the Chief's Mess. Uh, so not only the perspective, but I also feel that the truth and honesty that I have gotten over my career from the Chief's Mess is a blessing. And Senior Chief Royal will always remain in my heart because I remember how green I was. I was uh, lost almost in everything. I was confident that I knew how to do things, but uh, very self-conscious um, of how to lead others. And he let me know it was okay, and that it's just not a big mystery in that sense. So um, in essence, when I retire, one of these days, it will. The first thing I intend to say is is how important it is to have the chief's mess aligned with you.